Hey guys, this is gonna be a pretty short video. I had a dialogue options ready to go, but with the various issues, I was up till four o'clock in the morning finishing. Well, by the time I got to bed, it was 5.30 in the morning, the sun was coming up, but uh, I was working on Gamer's Guide to Feminism until four o'clock yesterday. So I did not have a super duper start to today. And then there was some stress that happened. I was dealing with it on Twitter and I finally just went, screw it. It's summer. I'm going to go to a movie. Tuesdays are like cheap night. I forgot about that, <laughs> but uh, it happened. My husband and I went with uh, a friend to go see Tarzan and I discovered a um, very surprising thing. I found that I'll tell you what I thought of the movie in a minute, but before that, um, I put on the 3D glasses and that, you know, Amex sound, the fancy stuff. And I, it used to be really great 3D. I really like 3D movies. And so I'm watching it and going, why does this 3D seem terrible to me? It's all flickery and weird and it's all warped. And then I realized it was because I've been sampling a lot of VR lately. And that frame rate is somewhere between you know 90 and 120 frames per second and this movie is at 24 frames per second and i really did notice it i mean i was one of those people that went to see the hobbit in uh the the high frame rate and enjoyed it um i i like the high frame rate 3d because it is better 3d and so if you do a lot of vr i might recommend you know, seeing, maybe, I mean, maybe there's something on the projector, who knows, but I'm wondering if this is gonna be a thing, if the high frame rates in virtual reality are going to impact it for people uh, in, you know, regular movies, because the 3D in VR is so crisp, right? Um, so watch that. And so now what did I think of Tarzan? I liked it. I liked it. I mean, I, People know I'm an Edgar Rice Burroughs fan. Um, I'm more of a uh, like a Princess of Mars fan than Tarzan, but I like Tarzan. And it was an interesting story. Uh, it's not taken from any of the books. It's like a new Tarzan adventure with some historical figures thrown in. And, and one of those is um, George Washington Williams played by Samuel Jackson. And oh man, I think he steals the show personally, because Alexander Skarsgård is trying so hard to act, and Margot Robbie is trying so hard to act, and then Samuel Jackson's just ready to sup, you know, he's just, he's just a dude in the movie, and I was more impressed with him as an actor because you didn't see him acting, because you expect, you know, the full Sam Jackson, and he was only like 60% Sam Jackson, and I like that because he was sort of the the everyman, sort of the audience proxy, and I find him really, really likable. I don't. I, on one hand, I see what the critics are complaining about because the critics tend to have a stick up their butt. Um, at the same time, I don't quite understand why they they hated this movie so much. Actual moviegoers don't seem to to hate it this much. I, I thought it was a good try to make Tarzan relevant and not just like, you know, a white savior narrative. Um, but there were moments I, I really felt like some of Margot, uh, is it Robbie or Roby? I don't know, no matter what, I'm gonna get it wrong, according to somebody. It's spelled like Robbie, but I've heard people pronounce it Roby, so I don't know. But there were times I felt like her dialogue as Jane was um, rewritten, to be a better part for you know a modern league lead actress because jane in the books i mean she's not even in the first book and, and she doesn't have a ton to do i mean she really is uh, this girl he's chasing and, and sort of intersects with for a while before you know in the book she gets involved with like his cousin or something like that and then she finds out a secret and like he's actually a lord. And I mean, that that they keep in the book, the fact that he's the Earl of Greystoke. I keep saying Greystroke because I put Grace Skull in with Stoke and get it wrong. Um, but 
yeah, they, um, they don't, they don't do any of that because it, it, it's action. They're action stories. There's, there's not a lot of, you know, anything in there. And so they, they sort of have the relationship already in progress and he goes back and it, I think it's a good story, but yeah, I really do feel like her dialogue went through, you know, another level of rewrite to, uh, you know, make her a better character. And I actually think the dialogue additions took away from it because there's so many, you know, look how cool she is. Don't you know she's cool? That woman is cool. And nobody's saying how cool Tarzan is and nobody's saying how cool, you know, steampunk Sam Jackson is. They're just cool. They show you they're cool. They give you the chance to decide for yourself that they're cool. And so they are cool to you. When you have somebody constantly being told, you know, you're told this person is cool, is cool, is cool. They seem less cool. And so, I mean, that that horrible clunky line of, you know, you will scream for me. And she's, what, like a damsel? Like a perfect damsel, right? Like she's leaning over that railing of that river. Road. Like it is clearly, Jane is a damsel in distress. She is. And I wish they'd just embrace it and make it cool instead of trying to go, I am a damsel in distress, but I will not be a damsel in distress. I will resist because I am serious modern actress. Instead of recognizing that, yeah, it's 1880, what is it, 1884? It's 1884, lady. Women didn't have a lot of power and you're surrounded by dudes with guns. Um, and, and it's one of those things like, it's a Tarzan movie. And don't get me wrong, she's really good. She brings that Margot Robiness to it, like the same kind of, you see as Harley Quinn, it, it's sort of like, it's like 50% Sam, 60% Sam Jackson and like 60% Harley Quinn going on. And uh, I, I mean, I like it. She, when she's allowed to just do her thing, I really like this version of Jane. Um, I had an issue with, the, this is so nerdy. Um, the costumes overall are pretty cool. Um, they're really good military uniform recreations and things like that. Uh, I know some people will have trouble with the, the Congolese garb because, oh, exoticized minority. But guys, th there are photos of that period of time in the, the what is now, the, I think the Democratic Republic of Congo. Congo. Um, and, and that's what they look like. Like it's not racist to depict people as they were. Um, but yeah, I can see how, you know, people who are trying to sound smart, they'll be like, oh no, it's not a good depiction of this now because reasons. But uh, yeah, I, I wish they just played it straight. And it's like, this is a Tarzan movie for better or for worse, because when they did that, it was really good. You know, one dude and a whole bunch of animals stomping colonialism. That's basically the movie. <laughs> I mean, if you know anything about history, didn't quite happen that way. But I won't spoil it other than to tell you that, you know, it it it, um, it ties in to what the King of Belgium did uh, to the Congolese people during that time. And it, it wasn't pretty. By some estimates, he killed uh, half the population of the Congo, the 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 Belgian Congo as opposed to French Congo at the time. So, you know, I I thought it was interesting and I like the interweaving of real historical characters. Uh, but yeah, that 3D. And I got home and I, I was gonna do editing, like that was my plan. I was gonna get home and, you know, just spend a couple hours editing, but the, the left side of my face just went right behind my eye when I got home. And I'm like, I can't do this. It's just not happening. I need to do something fast and then stop. And so this is what you're getting. I apologize. I really feel bad that I'm not doing higher quality content, but um, this is the best I can manage right now. It's just these these eyes won't settle down. And uh, hello, Binky. That was a Binky quake. Not to be confused with a Momo quake. Come here, Binky. People like pet things. Here's Binky. Hi, Bink. Yeah. Oops. Pulled the earphones out, but that's okay. I don't have to hear anything. Ah, are you gonna attack me? Yep, there we go. Vicious beastie. Yeah, that was on camera. 
that was on camera, everybody seeing you being macho, right? This is not unusual for Binky, is it? No. Yeah. Binky likes doing things on his terms. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're cool, right, Bink? Right? Yeah. All right. You guys got the cat now. I can end the video, right, Bink? Now, are, are you going to take a swat at my hand if I go to turn off the video? Nope. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs>